Okay folks, I've not been fishing for a while so I thought I'd do something, another review. As you can see this is the Deeper Pro Plus, they call it the Smart Fishing Bundle. Obviously it's got the uh, Deeper Smart Sonar Pro Plus, Deeper Nightlight Fishing Cover, Deeper Smartphone Mount and the Gerber Dime 12 Tool Multiplier. I've had it a couple of months now, brought it from Amazon and because I had a tax refund because it's not cheap I think we're over £200 comes with a quick start guide there's the, the Gerber mini tool yeah, it's alright, does the job so we've got the mini tool We've got the orange nightlight, not nightlight, sorry, the night fishing cover. We've got the mobile phone rod holder, three O rings, neoprene case for it all to go into, I'd say all, mainly the just the main unit itself. Okay, this is the main unit. It's got two different options. So the top one is where you screw in one of the two supplied brass connectors. That is for when you're towing it from a bait boat, etc., kayak, canoe, things like that. The one I use is the one on the side, and that's as per the instructions, it just screws in like so. Then open it up, nice touch, a rubber seal and on the, you've got water and then proof. And it's actually got three connections on there, it's got one underneath and I can't remember for the life of me what that one's for. So when you tighten it up, as long as they're lined up, it's waterproof. And it takes some doing. So it looks like with the orange top on, like so. You charge it through a normal USB. When it's charging, the LED flashes there. When it's complete, it flashes green. The LED button there as well, when you're using the night cover, you can actually use your phone and it will set it to flash. So you can actually see it in the dark when you've cast out uh, into the water and you can see where it goes. I've not tried that yet, I've just had a quick play with it. In the daytime you can just about see it. But obviously pitch dark down the lake or up next to the river I think it'll be, it would um, flash quite well. And I've done that wrong, there is a way of doing it so you have to start Remember right from that side, that's it, and then it tightens up like so. So, that's a brief overview of the Deeper Pro Plus. I'll just get my, um, my phone now, quickly run through the app. Okay folks, so I've started the app up on my phone, as you can see across the bottom it's showing the deeper is disconnected because it's packed away in the neoprene case. Across the top, you've got a few options. You've got calendar, camera, weather, notes, maps, history and settings. Obviously settings has everything. You can change brightness, Fahrenheit, centigrade, offline maps, sync your settings, manage your deepers, the mode, fish finders on, night light, so that's where you, when you've got the orange night top on, you can back it up, oh, press the wrong button, history, so it automatically saves you 
it's a free online account you easily set it up and each time you map a swim or a lake it backs it up for you so see now it should start and it's at Woodrose Pond which is just down a Dye Abbey near me here so if I zoom in just like you would do normally I think it's linked to Google Maps Give you an idea of the little black mark you can just about see on the screen there is at the actual Deep Pro Plus. And then if you press the button across there, in comes information. So you've got across the top there, you've got the temperature of the water, date, time, depth. This is the bottom, looking at it, it's quite silty. Um, coming, uh, coming into the edge, you've got reeds. Each little peak, like there, is another cast in. So if I just do that and get the full screen, this is quite good. You can get home or you can cast in and view it while you're at the lake. And if you give it, um, you can fast. So if you drag the slider at the bottom, it will speed it up. There's a dog having a scratch in the background. And each seat, so that's where it's coming in near the edge where the weed and the reeds are, casting out into the middle, nice and flat, back in towards the edge. Yeah, and each time you can tell as it's coming in, it's quite easy to pick it up. Um, obviously, a bit deeper there, so it, it jumped a little bit because it's sort of deeper it is, the more information it will try and squeeze into this um, size of the screen. Now, I use it on a old Samsung Note 4 and had very very little problems. A couple of times the GPS drops but I think that's because there's trees etc near an island where I was fishing so I think a fish should come in now so if I pause that you can just see the fish icon right near the edge monk some reeds etc that just gives you so the fish is actually by the island over by the island there so if I now go back so you got it keeps the history of them all there like I say it backs it up onto the line if you go into notes it's got all like a calendar and you scroll down if I click on that one and then you can scroll up like that. now for some reason it's not finding them saved on my phone they're there somewhere, I think I just moved them into a different folder onto my phone. You can put you now 14 point 12 pound peg 30, it's actually peg 3, not peg 13. So I can go in and edit that. So I'll just do just like a normal and save. Yeah, just simple as that. You can add extra, you can share it. On Facebook and things like that which um, not many orange what was that one that was 1910 at Heverton Pond it's a good piece of kit but it has got a few things which I'm not happy with and I'll show you them when I get near get to the lake and the weather now it's got moon phases current weather so 17i 27 and uh, moon set, moon rise, sunset. No, it's quite in depth to be honest. It's um, camera, I'm not sure what the camera does, probably won't see anything because it's yeah, it's trying to zoom in at the back of the thing. Because obviously it's trying to use the other camera. So that's roughly it. We'll get, we'll get to the lake and I'll run through on how easy it is to set up a uh, couple of help a couple of hints I'll show you till next time okay folks so I've got the phone mount on the on the rod now just say it's disconnected the moment I dip water in, 
just going to try and find it. Might have to turn the mobile data off, which I'll do now. And if we go out to the edge. So we are. I'm going to give it a gentle flick under arm, just try and connect it because once you've done it the once it connects reasonably well the problem we've got here, is, here down at Outer Lake is that the phone signal is shocking so it's now time it's too shallow or too deep so I'm connected let's just look a plop out I don't know if you can see that there, probably not because of the light. Um, it's really bright tonight, um, today you might try to come down again when it's a bit... Get out, get out. Now the dog wants to go for a swim. So you just reel it in nice and steady pace. And it just maps your swim for you. So, say the GPS signal down here is shocking. So you sometimes have to cast in and let it find GPS signal. That's roughly it. You just cast in four or five casts and it, ma it maps out your swim. Uh, I tend to do a few swims a day whenever I can you know, got chance and things like that. So I'm now gonna show you one of the tips because I don't like using the, the rod mount. It's, I've got quite a big foe in it, it feels really flimsy to me. So I'll show you how I normally set it up in just a second. Just show you does make quite a splash of fish with a uh, no bobby with a wire trace because knowing what pike are like they're likely Bobby get out of the water and strike bright bite you off um, so I've actually found it's found me Identify once it connects once to the GPS, it's fine. Uh, it will drop out when it goes under the water because it is only Wi Fi at the end of the day. Okay, folks, so I just showed you how it was set up on the rod, and I'm always cautious because you know your, your, phone aren't, your phones aren't cheap in this day and age, are they? So this is how I, n I normally connect it. Normally, I have my tripod with me anyway, pardon my dog lead. And then it's just tripod adapter and a phone mount, less than a fiver. I think the phone mount from Deep is about 15 quid. It does feel a bit flimsy and with this. Imagine you stood next to it or behind it, you can give it a good chuck out on your spod rod. You know, it does weigh about five ounce, so um, it is you know, a bit of a beast to cast. So that's roughly it, the Deeper Pro. Say down here at Alstree Park, the GPS signal is shocking. So it does drop a few times, and you know it does take your time. But down at the where I'm fishing, Darley Abbey, it's got really good GPS signal. Chuck it out, it connects, and then it's, it's great. So hope you enjoyed this. Till next time.